today I'm coming with you coming with you I ain't coming with you nowhere I am coming to you with a Primark call <laughs> Hey everyone, Sam Laker and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are well. Gonna give you a big primer call. This is only one bag and then I've got two other bags, one medium one and one small one. Um, so I thought I'd give you a primer call. I'm currently filming a um, week vlog. Um, I did go to Primark this morning. Me and Rayhan dropped the girls to school and then we went off to Primark because we had to get a load of stuff. I'm not sure if that vlog is gonna go up before this or after this. But we are um, going to Pakistan. Maybe when you see this haul, we might be in Pakistan already. We'll start off with the big bag. So the first exciting thing that I picked up, it's not exciting. I literally just picked up some vest tops for Rayhan. And this pack of bodysuits was £7.50 for seven. In February, the weather's not hot. Um, from what I've heard, it's not cold, cold, but it's like long sleeve weather um maybe jogging bottom weather so for rayhan i picked up some new jogging bottoms so i got him a red one a navy blue one and a gray one and these were three pound fifty each and they're just basic jogging bottoms um they've got the cuffed part at the bottom um nice waistband and the main thing that's a big thing for me is that this can be pulled and tightened because some jogging bottoms you get in Primark these are always stitched here and you can't tighten them but these ones you can so these are the ones you get off the table um yes yeah. so, and then I also picked up Rayhan some sweatshirts as well so I only picked them up too so I got this one this was also on the table so it's just a plain uh, blue sweatshirt nothing like exciting about it this was three pound fifty and then i picked him up this one so this one's a bit different it's got like a collar part there and it's got like a zip um and this one was four pound fifty and we're still on ray Hans clothes so he's got a lot of long sleeve tops but i thought i'd pick him up two more so i picked him up this one this was two pound thirty and i picked him up one more long sleeve top and this one just says game on it there weren't many um long sleeve tops anymore they have bought out the t-shirts for summer it's way too early but yeah they bought out the t-shirts for summer so this was the only other long sleeve top i could find and this t-shirt was one pound eighty so these were on offer for seven pounds and fizz's boots that she wears to school have holes in them now do they have holes in them they're just like yeah she needs new boots now she always ends up wearing her trainers so i saw these i'm not sure she's gonna like them but i thought i'd buy them because they were only seven pounds have these like buckle designs on them which have like stars and like circle things they just look very cool and then it's got like a buckle there yeah and it's quite a heavy boot it's not heavy heavy but i'm not sure i'm i'm sure she would like it um and it's just got this is how the bottom is and then it's a zip so it'll be easy for her to put on she just has to put her foot in and zip it up the what boots she has now are not zipped ones so um yeah i think she would like these because there's a zip on there and it'll be easy for her to put it on i picked up some trainers for iraj so iraj really wanted some trainers basically fizz has got trainers that have a little bit of pink in it and she wanted them as well so i found her these ones she's got a trip on thursday so inshallah she's gonna wear these because trainers are just more comfortable when you go on trips so these are mini mouse trainers they just a, got a light pink design and then there's a butterfly there and a mini mouse design on the side um and then laces have a bit of a design on there as well um yeah and they look like that they're cute she is currently size 12 um but when i was looking at the size 12 trainers at primark they looked really small and i just couldn't imagine her feet fitting in them so i did pick her up a size 13 now i'm looking at them now i'm like actually her feet are a lot more smaller so i'm not sure I won't even have time to return these before Thursday when her trip is. So she might not be able to wear them. But when I was in Primark, looking at the size 12, I was like, that looks really tiny. And then now I'm looking at these, I'm like, actually, they look quite big now. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, her school shoes are comfortable. But I just find that trainers are even more comfortable. And these were £8. And then for Idij, I picked her up some slippers to take to Pakistan. 
Fizza has some already, some like pink ones that I bought a while back from Primark. It is head up here, but I don't know where they're gone. I feel like she's left them in the garden. And if she has, there's no way I'm going to take those anyway. I'm going to leave those in the garden because they're going to be so disgusting. It's been raining. It's just, they're going to be so nasty. So I'm not going to, I'm going to leave those in the garden. And then when summer comes, go out in the garden and chuck them away. Because we're going to clear the garden out. But anyways, um, I picked her up some new ones. I like these ones because they've got the wide part here and then they've got this at the back. So that you can stay on their feet. And they're just really comfortable. I wear mine all the time. Fizzle wears hers. Well, Fizza doesn't wear hers all the time because that girl refuses to wear slippers at home. I try to encourage these girls to wear slippers at home in this like cold weather, but they don't. Even Rayhan, he doesn't even wear slippers. He takes them off and he takes his socks off. My girls don't even wear socks at home. They take them off. Only if they're really, really cold, they'll wear it for a bit and then they'll take them off. I think all kids are like that. Anyway, so yeah, I picked her up these. This is what it looks like. Got a unicorn, rainbow got stars on there and it's like a two-toned color and these were five pounds if you've watched my previous primark haul you would have seen that i picked up um i don't know where my last primark haul was but in one of my vlogs i did a primark haul you would have seen i picked up fizzar one like this so i've basically just got the same one for idage i got her a big size so it's oversized look oversized sweatshirts and hoodies on kids cutest thing ever this was four pound fifty so i find the sweatshirts in um primark are so cheap and i picked up one more sweatshirt for it and it's basically this really nice light pink color and it just says paris i feel like red and this color pink goes really really nice together really nice again this one was four pound fifty and it's just a really nice pink doesn't that red and pink look nice together and then i picked up the girls some jogging bottoms again to take pakistan for fizzar and one for idaj they're just jogging bottoms with the cuffed bottoms they've got the part where you can tighten because with idaj i need to tighten it fizz is fine but with idaj i usually need to tighten that part i like that these have white um drawstrings i feel like they're so nice the white with the black these were four pound each then i picked up one more pair of joggers each for the girls so i got it is this blue color because she likes blue and i know if she was there she would have chosen the blue one and fizza likes the color purple so i picked her up these ones she likes this color specifically rather than a darker purple so perfect colors for both the girls they're gonna be so happy with these jogging bottoms these jogging bottoms were four pound each these socks are three pound 50 each and i basically got four packs so i've got two in energy size and two in fizzes size these have these nice little frilly parts there but you won't be able to see them under their trousers anyway but it's cute they've got the frilly parts i picked these up for fizzer so just a plain well, it's not plain black just a black a long sleeve top it's the design this was one pound 80s the ones that are on the table and then i picked her up this blue stripy one and there wasn't much options i don't really like this stripiness stuff but there wasn't really much option so i just picked her up this one i get her big sizes in most tops by the way because she likes it baggy she doesn't like things that cling to her body this was actually two pound 30 it doesn't have a label on it but when the woman put it in came up as £2.30 also picked up Ray Han some socks I just get him navy blue ones it's just easy life because his socks always go missing so I find that if you buy like the plain ones you can just match two odd pairs together because they look like they become a pair basically because they're all the same colour two more bags so I picked myself up two leggings these are the ones that are on the table for £3 I wouldn't wear these generally out and about because they are see-through unless I'm wearing it under a long dress um then i would obviously wear these leggings um so i hardly buy these anymore because i don't really wear long dresses at the moment last summer i don't i hardly wore long dresses now and then i wore it um but yeah anyway so i just picked up two of these just to sleep in when i go to pakistan and these are three pound each and i got extra large i usually get large um but for sleeping i want them like loose and i'm someone that doesn't like sleeping with trousers so i want to be as comfortable as possible so yeah just picked up two of those i also picked up two of my favorite leggings so these used to be five pounds and they've now gone up to seven pounds if you've watched my primark calls for like a really long time you know how much i rave about these leggings they're not see-through 
they've got like a sweatshirt material so they're not fleecy um but they're like a sweatshirt material which i like so i i don't like fleeced leggings these ones i get in the medium i'm like so stingy when it comes to leggings five pounds was the limit five pounds was literally the limit i'd buy any other trousers um like for more but when it comes to leggings i'm so stingy last time i went to primark i was going to pick up some fresh new ones and then when i saw they were seven pounds i was like i don't need you i've still got my other ones it's fine okay let's move on okay um something nice and cheap and cheerful so i picked up some felt tips for the girls um basically to use on the plane and in pakistan um i picked them up a package so they don't fight and these were 80p they've got two felt tips in each one so i think that's a like one probably for drawing and that one's for colouring in I'm assuming I don't know and look how cheap it was 80p that's cheaper than Poundland these exfoliating gloves I literally don't know why I picked these up because I get so OCD that after one or two uses I chuck them away because I'm just like oh that's gross now I bought it again because after using these it just feels so nice and clean cleaner than you do when you don't use it that cleaner you feel cleaner when you use these than when you don't use them i don't know what i'm saying but yeah i picked up these exfoliating gloves i just you just feel amazing these were one pound fifty um hair bands i picked up two packets the so next i picked up myself a pink woolly hat this is hot pink i'm really into hot pink at the moment um but the other reason i picked it up because i literally it was on offer for two pounds is three pound fifty usually but it was on offer for two pounds so i picked myself up one yeah oh i like it yeah will i look ridiculous walking around with a hot pink hat on probably do i care a little bit no i don't care and then the last little bag of stuff that i'm going to show you i think i all just for me i thought i'd try some of the primark skincare i'm going to take it to pakistan with me so i got this exfoliate in face scrub i don't exfoliate my skin and maybe that's what my issue is i'm sure it's like you're meant to exfoliate at least once a week i'm sure i don't know so i picked this one up this is an exfoliating face scrub purifying tea tree and witch hazel is vegan and it's for oily blemish prone skin which is my skin so thought why not get it and it's only two pound fifty if you've watched my vlogs you you're like a you watch my vlogs generally just not just a random video you've come across you know that i recently bought some face wash and nighttime cream from a company called baselift um i haven't used that yet i'm still waiting on one of my cleansers to finish um, i've literally got a few more maybe pumps left in them and then i can move on to that one but i've decided to wait till i come back from pakistan to start using that and i don't want to take that to pakistan because it's expensive so i'm going to leave that here inshallah when i come back from pakistan i'm going to use that it's basically just a face wash and a nighttime cream um i haven't got any more products from them yet i thought i'll start off with those two it's like a turmeric one um if you watch my videos you know what i'm talking about if you don't then i'm sorry about that i needed a face wash to take with me to pakistan like i said i don't want to take my base lift one because it's expensive so i saw this one in the same brand um for £2.50 it's a um, cleansing face wash um, i'm not even going to say what that says underneath but it's a purifying tea tree and witch hazel um it cleanses away impurities excess oil and makeup brilliant because i'm gonna be we wearing makeup in pakistan helps promote a clearer complexion dermatologically derm why am i trying to say that word again tested and is vegan and it's literally from the same brand so these two are from the same brand i tried to find a cream that was from the same range but i couldn't i bought myself some of these bangles so i like to mix uh, gold and silver together now um i'm not gonna lie i stole that idea from dina tokyo she started mixing like silver and gold together and it looked really really nice so i thought i want to do that as well because i like the look i already have these but i thought i'd pick up more because we i think we're going to a couple of weddings in pakistan shaka was saying there's a few people that are getting married when we go to pakistan um i don't nobody i know i think shaka knows them i don't know if they're family or if they're his friends i don't know but there's a few we're going to be going to so i thought let me take some jewelry from here um so i don't have to go i don't want to go i hate going shopping in pakistan i really just 
especially for my things and i don't mind going shopping for the kids but for me oh, i don't like it so this is the gold one gold ones these are the silver ones these were one pound a pack so one pound for this and one pound for this i just got this mirror to take with me to pakistan so i can do my makeup this side which is the zoomed up part like you know when it zooms in on your face and this is just the normal side oh my gosh close up i can see all my impurities and basically this little handle part is how it stands up i don't know if you can do it forward let me see oh i could even do it that part oh cool very very cool so yeah that's really cool and then also you can hold it like that if you wanted to this was four pounds I absolutely love this mirror that is so cool such a bargain and it literally is the perfect size mirror to take with me to Pakistan there are mirrors already in Pakistan but like I like having I just like sit, basically sitting on the floor like this popping this up on the table and do my makeup like that rather than like you know the dressing table sort of mirrors um I find it so uncomfortable doing my makeup and things like that I just like that I'm able to like bring the mirror close and yeah I just like the easy life of having this sort of mirror that's actually probably my favorite buy in this whole uh primark video is this mirror it's just so nice and for only four pounds but yeah anyways guys that's the end of my primark haul hopefully you enjoyed this video inshallah i will catch you on the next video bye assalamualaikum